In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce and maybe even remove annoying background sounds in DaVinci Resolve. And yes, of course, in a perfect world, you would have triple checked to make sure that the fridge was unplugged and the air conditioner was off and there were no annoying background noises going on when you're recording your audio. But hey, sometimes in real life, you're in a rush or maybe you're wearing too many hats on set and you neglect to make sure your audio's perfect before pressing record. That's where this tutorial should help you out. One thing I want to point out before we hop into Resolve is when you're recording audio, you always want to record at least 10 seconds of room tone so that you've captured the natural sounds of your environment. And you want to be aware that when you are trying to remove a certain sound from dialogue audio, you're also going to be removing some of the natural frequencies of that person's voice. So you want to find the balance between reducing that sound and still keeping the person's voice sounding natural. Oh, and if you're new here, I'm Allie and Will and I release weekly-ish tutorials all about video creation, editing, as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, to stay in the loop, subscribe to our channel. And now grab a pair of headphones or make sure you've got your good speakers turned up. Let's hop into Resolve and check this out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve. Let's pop over to the Fairlight page and have a listen to this clip. So in this video, I'm going to share the top tips that are really easy to apply right away if you do want to get better on camera. Alright, let's see what we can do to reduce and maybe even remove that. Bring our cursor to the beginning of our clip and hit I on our keyboard to create an in point. Go to the end of the clip, hit O to create an out point, and we're also going to turn loop on, which is this circular arrow here, so that this track loops as we're working on it. I also want to move my workspace around a little bit so I can see what's going on in the mixer tab here. Let's drag our viewer up under A1, which is the audio track that our audio is on. Where it says effects, click on the plus icon, go to restoration, and choose noise reduction. This is our noise reduction window, and we're not gonna worry about all of these dials at the bottom here because they're more advanced, time consuming, and the techniques I'm gonna show you do a pretty good job. When this button's red, that means the effect is active. We're gonna turn it on and off as we're listening to hear the before and after as we play this through. So let's first test out auto speech mode. This comes in handy if you're stuck because you don't really have any room tone recorded. It lets DaVinci decide which parts of the audio are voice and which are background noise. And then it will remove what it considers to be background noise. So let's have a listen to how auto speech mode did. So in this video, I'm going to share the top tips that are really easy to apply right away if you do want to get better on camera. Okay, so with this particular audio, auto speech mode did an okay job of removing the background noise, but it did also remove some of the natural frequencies in my voice. It's making my voice sound a little muffled and distorted and kind of more robotic than I'm going for. Oh, and if we want to get an idea of which part of our audio DaVinci is removing, we can choose listen to noise only. This will let us know what DaVinci is considering as background noise and removing. Okay, uh, yeah, that's a little too possessed demon for my ears. So depending on your audio and the type of background noise that you're trying to remove, auto speech mode might do a better job for you than it did for me. But I actually prefer using manual mode. I'll show you why in just a second. First, let's go up to the top right here and hit this circular arrow to reset this effect. Now by default, we are in manual mode. Let's bring our cursor to where the room tone begins and press learn, which will detect the background noise in our audio that we want to remove. Let's hit the space bar on our keyboard to play that room tone. Hit the space bar again to stop playback. Okay, DaVinci has worked its magic and learned the background noise. So now anything that matches that noise in our dialogue will be removed. Let's have a listen to the before and after. So in this video, I'm gonna share the top tips that are really easy to apply right away if you do wanna get better on camera. And there you go. 
That's how to reduce and maybe even remove annoying background noise in your audio in DaVinci Resolve. On a side note, I've been thinking about creating a tutorial that goes more in depth with how to make your dialogue audio sound great in DaVinci Resolve. If that's something you're into and you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for weekly-ish tutorials all about video creation, editing, as well as gear reviews. Thanks for checking this video out and we'll see you in another one.